I think the better that we read context and match ourselves to it, kind of like the better the result, right? The more people are likely to respond to us because we listen to them and we watch them and we make sure that we're aligned with how they're feeling. special is actually what lies in the water just offshore there. It's Ningaloo Reef, 300 kilometer long reef, which is um, in pristine condition. You know, everybody knows Australia for the Great Barrier Reef up in Canada, in the northeast of the country. But by all accounts, Ningaloo here is in much better condition and has just as much biodiversity as the Great Barrier Reef. It's obviously just not as long. And so, as a result, this is like one of the best places in the world if you like to snorkel or scuba dive, or just check out beautiful things. What's fascinating about it, I find, is that this place is really dry, <laughs> incredibly dry. There's no water here. It's pretty much like the desert just comes down, sand dunes, and then you run into this amazing turquoise water down there in the bay. And there's nothing around at all, outside of just the reef and this little town, which means there's one focus. To everybody that's here, it's like the nature and the outdoors and the beauty. That's a really good thing, you know. There's really not a lot to do here outside of diving on the reef and going to the beach and things like quad biking, outdoor adventures. Actually, that's quite a lot to do, isn't it? <laughs> but it's the context, isn't it? The context of this place, which is, uh, that's what you come for. And I think so often we forget how important context is in life. You know, we get tangled up in the fact that there's so much content out there. There's so many things to do or, you know, things to consume, whether it's food or information or entertainment. There's so much content. And yet, in some ways, context is more important because that allows you to align, you know, where you are with the things that there are to do or the opportunities that you have in life. Once you have that alignment, things get real beautiful, don't they? So sometimes we just need to think a little bit more about the context of where we are and what we're doing and what that means for the decisions that we make. We make this mistake a lot, right? Think about when you know, you're talking to somebody and they've got something really big on their mind or they're upset and we want to just like get our story out. We want to tell them whatever it is in our minds and they're just not listening because they've got their own shit going on. Like that's just the context of the situation. I think the better that we read context and match ourselves to it, kind of like the better the result, right? The more people are likely to respond to us because we listen to them and we watch them and we make sure that we're aligned with how they're feeling. And in the end, that's good for us too because then when we have that moment where we want to share, once that person has got something off their chest, then we get our turn. So pay attention to the context, not just the content. In terms of context, I don't know. Coral Bay does all right, doesn't it? One of the world's leading places to come and see a reef. And today, we're going on the reef. <laughs> we're going to go and dive with manta rays. Gotta say, I'm pretty pumped about that. I'll drop in some footage down below. And hey, whatever you're getting out to today, I hope it's a good one. Thanks for joining me for a little morning walk around Coral Bay. You're looking good, by the way. Looking real good. So have a great day. See you next time.